hello, and welcome to Silent Sunday Nights here on Turner Classic Movies. I'm your host, Jacqueline Stewart. Tonight, we have a double feature, two comedies starring one of the most talented and controversial comics of the silent era, Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle. Later on, we'll see a two-reel short that Arbuckle starred in and directed in 1919. But up first, we have a feature-length Arbuckle comedy that was supposed to premiere in 1921, but never did. Before audiences got a chance to see the film, it was pulled from circulation because of a front-page scandal involving its star. The movie is Leap Year, produced by Paramount in 1921. Fatty Arbuckle stars as the girl-crazy nephew of a millionaire whose fortune he's supposed to inherit. But his uncle is determined to keep him out of the clutches of women who may only be after him for his money. Roscoe Arbuckle, whose nearly 300-pound frame earned him the nickname Fatty, began his career performing on stage at the turn of the 20th century. He made his first film appearance in 1909, and four years later was brought out to Hollywood by producer Max Sennett. At Sennett's Keystone Studios, Arbuckle began appearing with comedy star Mabel Norman in a series of shorts that were wildly popular with audiences. By 1914, he was devising and directing his own films, and three years later, he was running his own studio in New York and mentoring a young comic named Buster Keaton. In 1920, Arbuckle reached new heights when his first feature film was released through Paramount. But just as his work in features was beginning to take off, his life and career became embroiled in scandal. At a Labor Day party in 1921, Arbuckle followed a young actress named Virginia Rapay into a hotel room. Rapay soon became ill, and a few days later, she died. Another woman accused Arbuckle of raping and killing Rapay, and what followed was an unprecedented avalanche of publicity, including three highly publicized trials for manslaughter. Arbuckle was eventually acquitted, but the scandal had taken its toll, and his career was effectively over. Paramount kept his films from 1921 out of circulation, but they weren't destroyed, and we will see one of them here on TCM tonight, followed by a two-reel short he made in 1919 titled Love. First, from 1921, here is Leap Year. <laughs> 